All right, so welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD744. So today, guys, I'm going to talk to you guys about the all-time performances. So you guys, so you guys obviously commuted, uh, commented on the community tab. I went through and watched like some of the performances you guys commented, and I'm going to give you guys whether I think it's an all-timer or not. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So let's start with the first one from FB7 Games, Double Louise versus Man City. Um, when I was saying best all-time performance, I said best, not worst. That's probably worst all-time performance. And if you guys don't get the gist here, David Luiz got sent off in that game. He got sent off. So, of course, FB7 Games, of course, you had to come in there with your, you know, <laughs> your funny take. Uh, Neymar Remontada from 8744. Yes. That Neymar performance against PSG in 2017-18. Oh, sorry, 16-17. It's one of the best individual performances. Like that, the fact that he was able to do that, he got a he he was so critical, and it, he was literally the main reason why Barca came back against PSG. Without his contributions, Barca do not come back. Barca do not score enough goals to make the comeback. And yeah, for me, it's an all timer. I believe he got a goal, um, you know, from the penalty spot. He also won a penalty as well. Gave the penalty to Messi, and I believe uh, what is it called? Uh, he yeah, he scored a free kick. Got the clutch assist for Roberto, and he won the penalty, scored the penalty. So he had like four goal contributions, basically. Yeah, for me, uh, uh, for me, it was an all timer. Uh, for me, Neymar, for me, it's it's incredible. Like that that performance alone is incredible, and it's a shame that we'll never, we'll probably never see Neymar do anything like that again in the future. Uh, next up, it is Doodle. 19 says Bale versus Inter 2010. I literally have never seen another another player play that well against against us ever in my life, and it was at the San Siro, and we were the defending European champions. Yeah, I actually was just looking. I was actually watching this before playing this, and dude, what what Gareth Bale did at the San Siro was incredible. What, what Tottenham Hotspur was incredible. Sure, they went out to lose the game, but that performance alone was just so amazing, so brilliant. The way he was scoring those goals, fantastic, fantastic. And I believe he was playing as a left back. I believe that was that wasn't even him as he was playing as a left back. I believe. So the fact that he was able to do that kind of performance is incredible. Like it's absolutely insane. Um, let me actually just verify what position he was playing that game. So, yeah, I mean it's crazy, man. T with Tottenham Hotspur, man. I mean it's insane, man. So let me just pull up here real quick. Um, yeah, I, I believe he was playing as a left back. I think. Uh, let me see if I can find. Yeah, he was playing as like a, a left mid. Uh, well, not really a left back, but more like a left mid. More like a left mid, actually, now I think about it. But still, that's incredible. That's incredible. And, the, and, and look at the Tottenham team right here, guys. I don't know if you guys can see my screen, but yeah, I mean, you had Gareth Bale, Luka Modric, and Peter Crouch. <laughs> man, that Tottenham team, man. Crazy, crazy, man. Okay, let's move, man. Let's move. Uh, Next to us, so Tapiwa, man. Thank you for saying it. Shout out to Tapiwa, man. He basically commented so much. So shout out to him. I actually wanted you guys to only come on one, but because a lot of people didn't do this, it was fine. So Tapiwa says Zidane 06 versus Brazil comes to mind as that easy standard, as that is the easy standard that I ever watched. Could even count as 98 performance, but I was still too young for that. So the 06, the one that I actually remember, because my football memory start from 02 World Cup. Yeah, I that that Zidane performance against for uh, against Brazil is insane. 2006. And remember. Brazil were the defending champions coming off the World Cup. And to do that kind of performance was absolutely superb. Against that Brazil team, that was insane. Absolutely insane. In fact, I actually want to look at that Brazil team that had. Uh, uh, let me see if I can pull it up right here. France versus Brazil, 2006. I just want to show you guys the lineups. Because, sure, a lot of people are going to say, Oh, look, Zidane didn't get a goal or an assist. Therefore, he, didn't, he had a bad game. But guys, you guys can't be stab merchants. And this is an all-timer performance. Roberto Carlos, Juan, Kaka, Robinho, Adriano, Ronaldo, Ronaldinho, Cafu, Lucio, Adriano, Robinho. I mean, this Brazil team is stacked, man. <laughs> this is no joke. And yeah, man, Zidane, what he did this this, this performance. This is like... One of the best all-time performances you can have as a midfielder. Uh, this is what I love about football is that you don't have to just watch the highlights. Watch the game itself. 
In fact, I think even FIFA has uploaded the full game. In fact, you can even watch the full game there. Obviously, I'm not going to play it for copyright reasons, but you guys can literally watch the full game right there. It's literally rink right there, man. Like, the link is right there. So, I mean, fantastic performance from Zinedine Zidane. It's an all-time performance, an absolute incredible performance. And you have to give it up to uh, Zinedine Zidane, man, because that's that's incredible, man. Absolutely incredible. Uh, next up, it is uh, Rollins in your up five versus Madrid. Standing ovation at the Bernabeu. What more can you ask for? It, this is one of those moments where that even rival fan just come in his flowers. Yeah. It's it's very rare to get a standing ovation at a rival stadium at the Bernabeu. I believe only two Barcelona players got a standing ovation. I know Ronaldinho has gone, and I believe Iniesta. Messi's maybe not even got a standing ovation there. <laughs> so it just shows how the standards are so high. And that Ronaldinho. Guys, you have to look at that Ronaldinho performance because that what he did against Real Madrid was crazy guys and that was a weak Real Madrid team you had Sergio Ramos in the team in fact let me actually show you guys that Real Madrid team because that Real Madrid team was stacked I think it was like you had the the golden uh, you had the the Galacticos uh let me see if I can pull it up here uh hope I can pull it up here on Google yeah Ronaldinho right here Real Madrid nil Barcelona three. Let me just pull, let me just type that on Google. Real Madrid nil Barcelona three. Two thousand and five. This was an amazing performance from uh, Barcelona man. Uh, let me see if I, I'm I'm making sure I don't show the footage of the game because obviously I can't for, for copyright reasons. But let me just see if I can get the lineups for you guys. Can I get the lineups at least? Okay, here we go. We go. We can. I can show you in transfer market. I just want to show you guys how good that Real Madrid team is. That's the thing I want to show. So, guys, look at this Real Madrid team. You have, you have, look at this team. You have Diego Lopez. Ra Wait, no, that's a substitute. Sorry. Casillas. Casillas, you have. Ramos. Roberto Carlos. Beckham. Robinho. Raul. Ronaldo. Zidane. This Real Madrid team is stacked. Look at the Barcelona team. Ronaldinho, Eto, Messi, Deco, Edmilson. Xavi, Van Brooks, Marquez, Puyol, Drigger, Valdez. And yeah, what Ronaldinho did was fantastic. Amazing, amazing performance for Ronaldinho. And for me, it's an all-timer performance. I agree with Tapiwa. I agree with Tapiwa. And yeah, it's, it's all-timer. Ronaldo 03 versus United. This is probably one of the most complete performances from a striker I've ever witnessed. He also got a standing ovation of the Rivals fan, Old Trafford, similar to what happened with Dino. Yeah, yeah. That, that R9 performance at Old Trafford. And keep in mind, guys, this was a this was United. This isn't United now, guys. United that time was a big. It's a big thing. They were like one of the best teams at that time. And the fact that Run R Nine did that at the Old Trafford, when Old Trafford was a stadium that was like feared, it was a theater of uh, dreams for the Manchester United were very good. In fact, I actually want to pull up that United team, guys. That United team 0-3. Uh, let me see if I can pull it up there. R Nine hat trick at Old Trafford. Let me uh, see if I can get the lineups. I just want to show the lineups, man. Lineups, lineups, lineups. Obviously, I can't play the clip. I can't play the clip, but yeah, uh, let's see. Okay, I think I just searched lineups, right? And yeah, this is probably the one of the best performances you could get from my, uh, what is it called? A uh, man, uh, 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 best striker performances of all time. Manchester United, 2003. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so 2003, Manchester United defeat the Spanish club. All right. Let me see if I pull up the the uh, line, lineups here, man. And it's a shame because, uh, let's see. So, let's see. Real Madrid. Oh, actually, I don't want to pull it from the Wayfo website because I think they might show the footage of the game, so I don't want to show. But, yeah, so Man United versus Real Madrid. So, Basically, what happened was that Manchester United, uh, Real Madrid, I think, won 4-3. Uh, but Manchester United, uh, but um, what is it called? Real Madrid still progressed uh, to the uh, next next round. So, you know, no, wait, wait. Manchester United defeated the Spanish club 4-3, 4-3. So, yeah, crazy, man, crazy. But, yeah, that Manchester United team. I'm trying to see. Can I get, like, the lineups for that game? Let me see if I can get the lineups. I just don't want to show any of the... I just don't want to show the copyright of the game, you know? There we go. Okay, so here we go. So, yeah, as you can see, Ronaldo scored a hat-trick. Manchester United 
uh, scored four goals, but it wasn't to be. And yeah, I mean, look at this Manchester United team, guys, right here. Look at this right here. You had, uh, was that the, oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, so you got Joe O'Shea, Rio Ferdinand, Wes Brown, David Beckham, Nicky Butt, Roy Keane, Ryan Giggs, Ruud Van Nesteroy. Ruud Van Nesteroy is an underrated player, guys. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. They have four on the bench. They look at the, that, I mean, this Manchester United team is a good team, guys. It's a great team. And the fact that R9 scored a hat trick at Old Trafford, absolutely insane. And as Tapiwa said, he got a standing ovation. So you have to give him up for that. Uh, Bale Tenor versus Inter. I already talked about that. Uh, he gave Micon nightmares. He even have a wallpaper shelf in the game. Wow. Robert Lomdowski, 13 versus Madrid. Yeah, that's another incredible one. He scored four goals, I believe, against Real Madrid. Absolutely insane performance. One of the best striker performances of all time in the Champions League moment. The Kaka 07 versus Manchester United. I actually just watched that game. They watched the highlights. They looked really good. Kaka was fantastic in that game. Uh, Marcel the Ose, uh, Ose, uh, 2070 versus Bayern Munich. Yeah, that was an amazing. Uh, that was yeah, Marcel was amazing that game. He scored a fantastic goal. He was amazing as a left back. And yeah, Ronaldo versus Atleti the year before. Yeah, yeah, that's also another good one. Ronaldo when he, uh, I think he scored the hat trick, right? He scored a hat trick, I believe. Uh, um, yeah, it's more uh, to be fair. Those last two ones are more like Tapua's personal favorites. But yeah, Marcelo 17 versus uh, Bayern is a crazy one. Um, personally crazy one. Next up is Andre Kramer when he scored a hatching versus Rikia Fire Nord. Uh, but yeah, okay, that's one of your favorites. Okay, shout out to you. Uh, Dusan Tadic. Um, this is probably not an all timer one. Sorry to say. <laughs> Dusan Tadic against Real Madrid, Santiago Bernabeu, 18 19 UCL season. Yeah. Um, is it an all timer? Uh, I don't think it is. It's a good performance, it's a great performance, but I don't think it's an all timer. Guys, when I talk about all timers, I'm I mean like when you show this game to someone that's not interested in football, they'll enjoy it. They'll enjoy it. For me, it's a close one. I can see where you're coming from, BLE, but I think it's not an all timer. Unfortunately, it's not an all timer. I think it's it's a it, it, I think because Tadic was amazing that game, but actually let me check. He I, I, actually I want to check how because I believe Tadic got one goal. I think in that game. Let me just check real quick. I just check real quick. Give me a is. Let me check. Hold up. Dusan Tadic, Real Madrid. Let me see. But then actually, you know what? Maybe okay. Let me see. Tad. No, actually, no. He got one goal and two assists. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I don't know. I think all timer is a bit of a stretch. I'm not sure it's all timer, but it's a great performance. Mbappe, 2022, France versus Argentina. Um, I'll be honest with you. It's not the best individual performance. Now, is it the best? It might be the best. It, it might be one of the most the most craziest hat tricks. Um, and what is it called? One of the most dramatic hat tricks. But in terms of individual performance, it wasn't the best. Because he only sc he scored two pens. And keep in mind, those two pens that were scored, he didn't win those pens. Now, I'll give credit. The second goal was amazing. That second goal was a very good goal. I'll give you credit. But... Overall, the performance for me, nah, it, it's not like a, it, it's not an all timer. I'm sorry, it's 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 it's. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out the way to put it, but it's not an all timer. It's more like a huge moment. If that makes any sense, it's one of the most dramatic finals. I could probably say. I think that's a better way to put it. Neymar versus PSG. I already talked about that. Neymar versus Bayern. Yeah, Neymar was amazing at the Allianz Arena. I think he got two assists. He was fantastic. Got those two, uh, helped us get those two away goals. And then I just saw Ron Dean versus AC Milan, man. That was fantastic. Ron Dean versus Milan, I think it was 2006. Yeah, Ron Dean was crazy. He made those passes. Those the, guys, Ron Dean is different, guys. Ron Dean is class. Class, class, class. Ray Joss was like, Messi at the Copa America 2021 World Cup. And then I actually specifically asked him, what matches you're referring to? Um, Ecuador. Yeah, Messi was fantastic against Ecuador. Uh, then um, or Colombia, Messi, yeah, Messi was really good against Colombia. I remember that. He actually, I think he made the pass to Lautaro Martinez and RJ were fantastic in the game, but they just couldn't finish. And uh, then obviously Netherlands was a good shout. Croatia and France were amazing games for him. Personally, for me, in my opinion, the best well, uh, Messi, me, best game for Messi in the World Cup, I thought was against. Hmm, is it against Netherlands? Maybe you could say because he made that very good pass. He scored the pen, and was very good throughout the game. So, yeah, France is also up there. You can also make arguments. Uh, France, you know what? Actually, I might give it to France because 
he did score a very crucial goal. So might give it to France. And then yeah, Ecuador. Ecuador, yeah. I thought the Colombia performance is actually better to be fair. Uh, than Ecuador, but yeah, you can make argument because I think Ecuador he scored, I think, two goals. I think against Ecuador, if I remember correctly. Let me just double check. Uh Copa America 2021. RGO versus Ecuador. Let me just quickly just double check. I think he scored how many goals he scored? No, he only scored one goal, but he I think he got the assist with the um uh, the, the, the I think he got the assist. So yeah, he, he was fantastic in that game. Fantastic, obviously. Fantastic. Uh, Puki uh, 5198 says, Ronaldo versus Sweden, 2013 World Cup playoffs. Yeah, that's a good shout. I agree. Uh, Messi versus Bayern, 2015 UCL semifinal. Yeah, the first leg. That's a good shout. I like that one. Tony Cruz versus Brazil, 2014 World Cup semifinal. That's a great one. That's a good shout. Uh, the semifinal, because he got two assists in that semifinal, he was cooking. Bastion Schweinsteiger, 2014 World Cup final. Now, this one, I was a bit unsure if it's an all timer. Uh, but yeah, maybe you could say, maybe, because he was great in that final. But the thing is, like, I don't know, man. I was trying to find some, like, comps on YouTube and trying to find some highlight compilations that I just couldn't find for that specific match. I was able to find for the other matches, but I wasn't able to find for the World Cup final. So that's the one I've mean, been sure of. Courtois 2020 UCL final. Yeah, definitely. That's a very good one. That's a great shout. That's probably, like, one of the best goalkeeper performances in a, in a major final. That, that's a good shout. That's a good shout. Ronaldo Nazari versus United 2000, uh, 2003. That's a good shout. That's a great shout, actually. Uh, that's a good shout. Indeed. Yeah, Ronaldo Nazari versus United. That, that, when he scored that hat trick at Old Trafford. Absolutely insane. So, of all the performances, now I'm going to pick which one's the best. Which one's the best? Okay, this is the hardest part of the video. Which one is the best, guys? Which one's the best? Um... Mm. 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 I this is a tough man. This is tough. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think, guys. I'm trying to think. Maybe you know what? I'm gonna say R 9s hat trick at Old Trafford. I think the quality of those goals he scored in the game were fantastic. I think the quality of the goals was fantastic. Um, and I for me, it's probably the best hat trick ever scored in football. One of the best hat tricks of all time. I would even go so far as say that. So, anyways, hope you guys did enjoy this video, guys. This was a really fun video. I really did enjoy talking about this, guys, and you know, watching these clips before coming on here, giving you guys my insights. And yeah, man. So I want you guys to do let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. Did you guys enjoy this? And what do you guys think, man? Let me know in the chat. Which one's the best all-time performance to you of the ones mentioned here in the community tab? So please remember to like and subscribe, guys, and peace out.